Hi, I'm Carrie, an urban farmer in Pittsburgh, and I'm starting a business that will rent out goats for hire to eat your weeds. Using goats for vegetation management is a proven method in other parts of the country, and it's time for Pittsburgh to have grazing goats as well. Well, I've had goats for a couple years now, and I've had friends and acquaintances come up to me and ask for the goats to come eat their knotweed or poison ivy in their yards. So the idea kind of started there. And then when Tree Pittsburgh did a grazing demonstration last year, they had to bring in out-of-state company and non-local goats to do the projects. And that really got a lot of excitement started in the area and realizing that there's a need for this in Pittsburgh as well. We thought that it would be a good opportunity to try using goats, which uh, while it's new in the Pittsburgh region, is actually a method of vegetation control that a lot of cities do around the country and people have been doing for centuries, of course. Um, so it was a lot of fun. We brought in a, uh, a man from Maryland who has his own company, and he worked as kind of a consultant to help us figure out how to do this, because it was new to us. And we had the goats for about a day. They munched all the vegetation, and uh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of media came out to see it. A lot of people came out to see it. And um, so it was a success. Last year, one of our biggest challenges was finding goats in the region, because uh, there are a lot of people in rural communities who have goats, but nobody who's really able to bring them to the city. So one of our biggest challenges in using goats here in Pittsburgh for our purposes was uh, just finding a herd of goats. And what we've been hoping, with fingers crossed, is that somebody might take this on as an entrepreneurial activity um, and have a, uh, a goats for hire type of business. So when Steel City Grazers uh, came about and we heard about Carrie and her plans, we were very excited and uh, eager to work with her. And so we're looking forward to opportunities that we'll have to work with her this season and hopefully in future seasons. Rose, why did you do that? You're so bad. So when we started filming this, I had a script originally and uh, Goat decided to start eating the script. So as you can see, goats are great grazers. They're always wanting to eat and that's why they do such a great job. <laughs> no, no, no. So I got my first goat when I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Zambia, and that really got me excited about goats. And when I came back to Pittsburgh, I knew I wanted to have them. So I've had these two goats here for about four years. For my first year, I want to have around 10 goats and one guardian llama. And depending on how it goes this year, I'll hope to increase that next year. As a thank you for your contribution, you can get a goat-themed gift, such as a goat tote bag, or even getting a goat named after you. I donated to her Indiegogo campaign. I was excited to. I think, uh, you know, just based on the, the amount of enthusiasm that people have for goats in the city, I think um, it would be great. And I hope a lot more people continue to donate to her cause because um, uh, she's really just starting up. And there are a lot of startup costs in starting a goat grazing company, from what I understand. You know, you need to buy the goats, you need uh, housing and shelter for them, some transportation costs are, are there as well in addition to things like electric fencing so the goats don't get out and run around. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, Carrie's starting out and uh, she's just a small business person that can use all the help she can get in terms of funding to start up with. So I hope, uh, hope a lot of people give to her campaign. According to the Chinese calendar, 2015 is the year of the goat. So let's make it the year of the goat in Pittsburgh as well. You can find out more on the website at steelcitygrazers.com or you can also like us on Facebook.